Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So I've had a couple people want me to make a video on Virtual Dino. Uh, Virtual Dino is a program that's free to download off the internet. I downloaded it a few months ago and it, it's a little buggy. Um, I've had some problems trying to get some of my files to run uh, but I wanted to show you guys a little bit about it. Hopefully the screen is clear. So this is Virtual Dino right here. I'm just going to open it up for you so you can see it. So this is the Dino Graph and it's exactly what it is. It's just a virtual dino. Uh, I want to rely on this to accurately tune your car or even accurately uh, show the differences between pulls. All this is doing is graphing HP tuners um, information that you log. So here I'm going to load a run. I've got several here. This one's from yesterday. Now you'll see here that it's a CSV file, not an HPT file from HP Tuners. I'll show you how to make that CSV file from your HP Tuners log. But uh, actually, let me show you a different one. I don't really care for that one a whole lot. This is another one that I had. That's a little bit cleaner, looks better. So you'll get this window and you have to select what car you have. Now there is a Camaro under Chevrolet, but it's the SS. Now if you have the SS, that's great, you can use that one. Because the ZL1 has different gear sets and different drag coefficient, I actually had to type in all the information under custom. You can see my final drive is uh, 373s. Uh, which is the manual ZL1. Uh, the weight is also different. So you have to put in the occupant weight. Um, my weight uh, at that time I think was 185. And the nice thing about Virtual Dyno is you can do a pull and tell it what gear you're in. In this case I was in third gear. Um, and right there it charts it out for you. Uh, it spells it out down here. 650 wheel horsepower at 6577 RPM. 623 foot-pounds of torque at 4427. And it plots the horsepower and torque. So it's kind of what it does. You can bring in other files. Let me see if I can do this without messing it up. Um, no, it's not going to like that. Let's see here. Load run. And I'll pull in yesterday's. The problem with yesterday's, I shipped it into fourth. And it shows all of that as well. So it's kind of ugly. I'm going to select my car again. Twenty fourteen ZL1. It was also third gear. I uh, weigh 165 now. So there's the second run. So if you have a back-to-back -back run, let's say you do a run and then you, I don't know, add some timing or change your air-fuel ratio and then you make another run, you can overlay it here and see whether you did an improvement or not. So this is, and I I can't remember why this says DinoJet, but it's not actually DinoJet. Uh, this is Virtual Dino. So this is Virtual Dino, and it shows down here uh, 614 wheel horsepower at 5,123 RPM. I'm not sure why that RPM is so low, uh, because it was actually higher than that. This, so this is Virtual Dino in a nutshell. Let me show you how to get these files. Okay, so here we are in the scanner in HP Tuners and this was 
I don't remember. This was uh, a poll out in Mexico somewhere, I think. So let's say you do this scan. You recorded it. And once you... So you would hit the start button, do your pull, hit the stop button right away. You don't want to have a bunch of gear shifting and everything in between. Um, pretty much you're ready to go and, and floor the gas. You hit record, you floor it, you do your pull, and as soon as you're done, you hit stop and you come over here to save as and you name the file. And when you name the file, it will be an HPT file. Um, kind of like these. These are all HPT files. So let me open that log. So to convert that HPT file to a CSV file that Virtual Dino needs, you need to come up to Log File, Export Log File. And you see right here it automatic, automatically selects CSV. Here it is right here. And you click Export. And you tell it where you want it to go and you name it down here and I'll just put uh, YouTube CSV and you save it. And so here it is right here. Now this happened to save this. Uh, normally it would save in Excel. Uh, I don't have Excel on this computer because they want a subscription every year and I don't use uh, Microsoft Office enough to pay for that subscription so I believe I'm using LibreOffice anyway it still works uh, so here is the file so you would go up to Virtual Dino you would start it come over here load a run and you would tell it um, where the file is at and open it and sometimes it takes a second, it takes a little bit to populate. There it is. And you would put your car information in here, just like I showed you before. So let's say you want to add a car that's not in here. You go to Car Editor. And this is where you would put all your information in. You would tell it what year you have. Uh, you would tell it the ending year for the car. Uh, make, model. It wants to know the weight of the car without you in it, the drag coefficient, the frontal area and square feet, the tire diameter, whether it's a manual, the gear ratios, the final gear ratio, and then you would save as a custom. And that's where I got the custom Camaro 2014 ZL1 that I use for the virtual dyno log. That's pretty much it, everybody. Uh, it's pretty easy to use. Uh, I would not seriously tune your car with this. It would be kind of interesting to go to a dyno uh, and get a real number from a dyno jet and then immediately do a pull and compare the numbers just to see how accurate this is. Some people have said it's pretty accurate. I don't know. I know um, what I did on a dyno before I did some mods was a little over 600 wheel. Uh, this is saying I'm at 650 wheel after adding another three pounds of boost. Um, so I don't know how accurate it is. Plus my 600 horse was on a Mustang dyno, not a dyno jet. So, well, there you have it. Uh, I hope this has interested everybody. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. That's important. And subscribe and leave a comment. And we'll talk to you later.